So pencil first, as I said. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put four little dots as I used to do. I don't usually do that, but I'm just going to do that very quickly just to break up the picture plane. Now, as I said, um, in the image, obviously there's some water at the bottom here. So I want to use that running kind of technique that we've done last week at the bottom. So I want to leave myself some room for that. Um, and also I might not even worry about these distant mountains up here. I might just put a little bit of blue, but move the trees up a touch. All right, so it's lots of trees, lots of water and a few buildings. So that's the idea. <clears throat> So I'm actually going to start with the, there's a tiny little building up on the top left hand hill line. So I'm going to sort of maybe start with him um, just as a, like a little rectangle and then a wobbly little tree line that's going to come down. And this doesn't need to be too accurate. This is just a guide um, for where the hill line is going to come. And this may even get evaporated as the wash sort of grows. So that my trees is gonna sort of come over this way, a little bit of a, a dip. And then we've actually got some smallish houses on this side. So I'm gonna have a couple of little boxes for little houses on that side. Really simplified. I don't want them to be too, too fussy. Just some boxes there. Then as we come down, there's a sort of a tower um, amongst the trees. So I'm going to get this little structure in. It's got sort of a funny roof and then it kind of comes out on the left and then down and then it comes out on the right and then down and then we're into the trees again so we don't need to worry about the bottom. Then we can leave that and then we can come down now to roughly where the the building line is. So if I start my first building there i think the next building is going to come or the bottom of the buildings will come to about here so i'm actually going to draw <clears throat> might even get a ruler just going to draw a straight line across there um hopefully fairly horizontally oops that's a bit wonky so just a straight just a straight line so that's going to be um roughly my water line. So all of this then is gonna be water. From here up is gonna be buildings, trees, and a little bit of that distant hill mountain type color. Okay, so let's then get this left-hand side in. This building is, and I'm just gonna really simplify these buildings. I don't want them to be too detailed. I'm just gonna do sort of boxes um, for the shapes with maybe just the odd triangular bit on the roof. So there's one there. <clears throat> and then we've got one that kind of projects forwards, um, which has got a box at the front. And that kind of goes downhill slightly. Comes all the way down pretty much to the water line. And that's got a roof on it. So we'll just put a bit of roof on there. And then we've got another building in front of it. So we'll keep that as another rectangle. And then it kind of goes back as a big rectangle to the tree line. And then we've got the roof on top. There's a triangle at the front. Kind of like that. That'll do, it's a bit messy, but in mind. Then we've got some trees or foliage over here. Then we got another little pinky building. So there's another vertical. And don't worry if they're not very accurate. It's, it's not about the buildings as such. It's more about the washes. So uh, then we got this big, big building. It kind of comes across the front. And he's got a slopey roof. Again, comes down as a rectangle. Good morning, Stuart. Oh, hey, Maggie, how are you? Can you log me in, please? I'm clicking and it's saying waiting. Oh, does it? Okay, hang on. Um, there is no wait, it shouldn't be a waiting room. But...
Uh, Maggie, okay. Let me do that. Uh, waiting room, waiting room, waiting room. Oh, I don't know. Um, Maggie, 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 where are you? I think George is in. Yeah, George is in. It's just coming up with a blank box. Join meeting. Click join meeting. Waiting. Sign in. Waiting. So it might be my end then. Yeah, it sounds like, well, you're talking to me. So you're in, it sounds like you're in the meeting, but you've just not got video. Right, OK. Well, I turn George's, um, what's it on? I'll turn George's off on mute again now and I'll have a look at it. Thank yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. So let's go back to where we were. Uh, let's plug that in. Yeah. Plug the power in. So we're going to die halfway through. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, where's my pencil gone? Who's eating my pencil? Oh, there it is. So this is the building, uh, the front here. Then we've got another little building box. So just really simple boxes. So another one here, which is slightly lower than the ones on this right-hand side, or uh, left-hand side. And he's got funny roof coming out there, coming down. And then we've got another box over there. That's sort of a terrace that sort of comes across. <clears throat> and then we've got a wall or some sort of wall thing going across the front here. Um, there's another little triangle here. And another long box and a triangle here. And then we've got another little building up the top here with another funny triangle roof. And there's lots of little buildings going away into the distance. I'm not going to worry about all those. I'm just going to put little, just like little triangle roof bits, just to give the impression that there's some buildings there. There's another box, triangle. And in terms of the um the drawing that's probably enough actually i don't really want to fiddle too much with the drawing uh now i need to do a little bit tidy up so i'm gonna find putty rubber just gonna clean up a few marks and then i will need to use a little bit of masking fluid just to block out um, some of the buildings. So there we go. So that we can be free and loose with our washes. I'm just gonna quickly do that. And use an oldish brush if I can find one. Uh, So a little bit of masking fluid, just gonna put some bits on these buildings. There's a little bit on that tower, some on this one, coming down. Might block out some of these shapes in the foreground as well. building. Might block out the whole shape. <clears throat> so they're coming right the way down and then some little doodads 
down on the waterfront. So try not to go below that that line I created earlier. Um, Stuart, sorry to interrupt. Um, my musking fluid's kind of all globby. Is there any way I can make it fluid again? Uh, no, unfortunately no. not. Um, once it's gone hard, it's gone hard. Yeah. Um, okay. All you can do when you do, um, you could wipe, you re wipe these back out afterwards if you lose. Yeah, I'll have to do that. If you lose the, you know, the cleanness within yeah. the building, so you might just re wipe the, re wipe the buildings. Yeah. It's not not the end of the world. Um, okay, thanks. All right. Uh, let's just quickly fill these in. Try not to press too hard with the brush, trying to keep it fairly light so that I don't scratch the paper. Um, as I'm putting this on, because obviously the when I come to take this off, I want to be able to have a nice clean piece of paper to work into. So just finish off these shapes. That out. Let's block all this out. That bit there. It looks like you're not doing the roofs, Stuart. Are you just doing the buildings? No, I'm blocking the whole shape out, um, Jen. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so just block the whole shape out. It's yeah. just easier. Okay. Thank you. So, all the way down. And I'll leave a little gap over here so we can put some trees in there. And that is about all I need to do on that. Um, I'm not gonna put any more masking on, just tidy that edge up a bit. Okay, um, what I may just do, just as a, cause I feel like it, cause I've got some on left on the brush. I might just put a few little flicks down here in the water, just to add a bit of interest really, not for any other reason. Okay, that's it. So the reason we've masked all this out, and you may wonder why we've done that, and some of you obviously know, but what we're gonna to intend to do is to, if you remember the stuff we did last week, where we did lots and lots of wetting wet, and we kind of let the paint spread and move, and then we put some gum arabic in it and some um, we put some um, uh, granulation medium and things like that to get it to do all these wonderful things. That's what we're going to try and do here. Okay, so I had a little very quick go before the class. So this is kind of the idea um, of what we're aiming ish for. Obviously, hopefully we're going to do a bit better than this. And I didn't mask out my buildings, but um, we're going to try and get all the, the, the colours to kind of mingle and, um, you know, separate and, and do some interesting things. Uh, rather than just paint trees as individual trees, if you see what I mean. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. So what you're going to need, you're going to need um, a big brush to obviously wet the paper first. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, and I'm going to wet all of this top section all the way down to my masking fluid. Um, nice and moist. <clears throat> So let's just slosh that on. I'm not going to bother wetting the bottom section just yet because I don't want the paint to to run too far down there. So if you remember back to when we did the tree one last week, we only wet the top first and we kind of worked on the top and then we came back and then we did the bottom up. Similar idea here. So let's just mop up some of this excess. Don't need all this water on the masking fluid. So colour wise then, um, I'm actually going to start off with some blue uh, at the top and then I'm going to dry it before I go in and then do the same process again. So using some cerulean blue and this is just to mimic a little bit of what we've got in the, um, in the distance. So I'm not worrying about them being mountains as such, I'm just going to put a bit of colour in here. 
just to give an indication of something in the background. So just a little bit of blue, and then I'm going to get my spray bottle. Where will I put that? <clears throat> Make sure it's pumped up. And just get that moving a little bit downwards. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Now, blot all this off now. So I don't need all this water at the bottom here. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to re-wet it. Because when I did my little sample one earlier, I didn't dry it off. And basically I obliterated the blue. So um, that's the reason for uh, drying it first. You don't have to dry all of it. You only have to dry the top section. Okay, that's good enough. Right, so what we do now is have a swig of coffee, because that's very important. <laughs> okay, um, absolutely. <laughs> make sure you've got some coffee. Um, is uh, we're going to re-wet, we're going to re-wet the majority of that section, but I'm not going to bother wetting uh, right to the top. I'm pretty much coming to where the, um, the tree line is that we drew earlier. Okay, so that's the bit I'm mainly wetting. Maybe go over that slightly to let it expand, but I don't want to wet right to the very top because there's no point putting that blue in if I'm going to do that. Um, so the, so you're wetting more or less the tree line? So I'm wetting pretty much the tree line and maybe just a little bit past the tree line, but not anywhere up, you know, not anywhere too far up into that, into that blue. Just, just wetting again that bottom section of the, the top bit, if you see what I mean. Does that make sense to everyone? So this is my yes. tree line kind of going through here and I'm just going past the tree line a little bit, but not too much. All right. With and how far water. down are you going to the All houses? the way down, back down to the, um, the houses and the water line. Don't, don't worry about wetting this bit down here, all right? So it's just the top section really we're wetting. Just lay that a bit flatter. Just want a bit more moisture in there just so that it stays wet while I mix up some colours. Okay, that's enough. Right then, so colour-wise, I'm going to start off with some light colours. And I'm actually going to use um, a nice limey, lemony yellow first. So I should have cleaned my palette off a little bit. So let's get some of this out. So it's just 
kind of like a cadmium -E type yellow, fairly light. And I'm going to slosh some of this on first. Reasonably strong, obviously, because we want a bit of impact, but um, doesn't need to be um, particularly neat. I'm just going to kind of chuck it on here. So it's going to get obliterated and worked into, so not too bothered. Just slosh, 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 ping, ping, ping. Can even do a little bit of flicking and whatever. Just get the paint kind of um, as random sort of deposited as you can. Break it up a little bit there. Okay, that's probably enough for that. Right, now, into that yellow, so the same yellow, but I'm going to mix some different blues, like a bit of cerulean blue, maybe a bit of um, a sort of a phthalo -y type blue, sort of darken the colour up slightly. So it's a lot more of a, a dark blue colour, uh, sorry, dark green colour. Just going to lose a few of these very, very excessive wet bits down here. Now, what I'm going to do is turn the painting to face away from me. So whereas at the moment the paint is coming down towards my feet, I'm actually going to turn the painting so that it's slightly tilted away. And I'm going to drop my colour in. Um, actually, I'm going to use a pipette for this because I want a bit more colour than that. Where's that gone? Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to soak up some, some paint from the trough and I'm actually going to start to drop some colour into these wet areas and just let it start to run up, oops, run up the painting. Kind of like so. What green is that you using, Stu? So it's um, the same yellow that I've just put on. Yeah. And it's got some cerulean blue and a little bit of phthalo -y type blue in there as well. Yeah, right. Okay. So a couple of different, just a couple of different blues. So we just ping a little bit of that on in different places. Again, not being too controlled with it. Okay. Now, before all that starts to do too much. I'm going to get some, oh, which I've just poured all over my side, which is clever. Oh no. Some gum Arabic. <laughs> gum Arabic. Probably some dirty gum Arabic now. Oh. Uh. Pick some of that back up. Yeah, so I'm going to put some gum Arabic now into the, um, oh, the into this wash once I've picked some of it up off the my counter. Um, so I'm going to use a pet. So just suck up a bit of gum arabic into the pipette, or you can use a brush, you can use um, whatever you like really, just so long as you've got some way of putting it on fairly randomly. So a little bit of gum, of gum arabic. Sorry? What can we use instead of gum arabic? Um, you could try washing up liquid. You could, oh. I mean, washing up liquid's not going to give you the same effect, but it will give you an effect. You could use some salt. Okay. Um, you could uh, use uh, some alcohol. Have you Ooh. got any alcohol about? <laughs> <laughs> a bit early in the morning, Stuart. <laughs> a bit early in the morning, yeah, maybe. But, you know, you're not actually drinking it. You're going to actually paint with it. So. Oh. <laughs> well, my husband have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, so just a few spots of this gum arabic in different places just to sort of add a bit of texture to the surface have a little bit more there a bit more up here a few more spots up the top here oh didn't want that come. Ooh. Okay, so we'll leave that to just spread a little bit before we do anything more with that. Get the gum arabic out of the brush, out of the pipette. So 
So now I'm going to get some black now. Black. Let me find my black. Wherever that's gone. Right. So into this, let's just tip that a little bit less steeply because it's going quite quickly at the top now. Just going to mop up some of this excess. Otherwise, I'm going to get too hard a line at the top there, and I don't want that. So I'm going to actually start to soften that in a bit. Might just give a little spray just to break the edge up. And use a little bit of tissue just to kind of soften it off. Don't want a hard line there really. So now with the black, I'm going to take, was that a question? Just, just okay. a bit quick. <laughs> bit quick, sorry. <laughs> I'll let, you, I'll let you catch up. Well, the only trouble is, is because obviously this is all drying. So yeah. Yeah. Um, if I go too slow, then I won't be able to show you the effect. <clears throat> I'll give you a minute or two to get the, the gum arabic on because it's pretty wet at the moment. So. I just can't let it dry out too much. Otherwise it won't, it won't work. <clears throat> Okay, right, I better put some of this black on, otherwise it is going to start to dry out a bit too quickly. So, I'm just going to drop some of this on. And also tilt it again a little bit upright. Just run a little bit of water through that. Judy, is that neat black or? Yeah, just neat, just neat black. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I haven't put any colour in it. It's just, it's just black. Um because it is going to spread and it's going to mix with the colours that are already on here. So that's why I'm not putting any colour in it. Let's just bring some nice dark behind these buildings here. And a bit up here. And again, I'm just going to run a bit of water through those. So just touch the water onto the, onto it. And just let it run where it wants to run. So possibly a little bit more black. Bring some up into these middle areas. Perhaps near these. Whoa, it's running buildings. Well.
So I'm just using a rigger here just to put, put these darker bits in and kind of tapping it rather than brushing it, just tapping the, tapping the paper. And a bit darker here. Whoa. Get some more darks in down here. A few dark spots up there. Okay, there's probably enough, enough of that for the moment. Let's just wipe off. Just going to get some water now. I'll just run a bit of water through some of this and tip it at the same time. So just spread that a little bit evenly. Just going to tip it back this way a touch. easel and then mop up some of this excess Again, just so I don't get it all congregating along this edge. <clears throat> okay, now into that. So into these colours now, I'm going to take some neat, neat burnt sienna. This is very neat, it's hardly got any water in it at all. And I'm going to drop some of that into these dark areas while it's still wet.
the neat yellow. Just want to amp up a few little spots of brighter colour. Then take some water. Just run a bit of water through those. Ooh. I need a few more darks, darker greens. those browns down a bit, they're a bit too brown. Dark on this left inside. Dark on the right as well. Okay. Now, need to let that dry off a little bit now. going to get it to creep up a touch. And whilst it's doing that, I'm actually going to run a damp brush along the top edge just to break it up a little bit. It's getting a bit solid. Just want to soften all this off.
Okay, so it's laid out a bit flatter. And let's see what we, um, what we end up with. So I'm gonna give that a little blast with a hairdryer. Okay. Now then, once that's completely dry, it's not quite dry enough yet to take the masking fluid off, but I'm going to take the masking fluid off once it is dry. So I'm going to give it a few minutes just to finish off drying and let you catch up. I'm just going to change my water because it's all completely filthy. <clears throat> destroying the paper. Let me just peel this off.
You're taking all the um, masking fluid off. So I'm going to take all of the buildings up here, but I'm going to leave the little bits of masking that I put on down in the water. Okay. I'll leave those on because obviously we haven't painted that yet. Okay, thanks. It's just this top section's coming off first. paint's still a little bit wet on this side so it's actually masking marking the paper a little bit never mind it'll have to be a stone texture let's just try and take these ones out Wait a bit, a bit longer to take this off actually. I have to hide dry that. Again, kind of come off. So my hill line's grown up a little bit. Never mind.
Okay, that'll do that. Right. So, should we move on? Is everybody okay to move on to the next bit? Yeah, the um, masking fluid seemed to pull the surf some of the surf paper off in places. Why was that? Yeah, it does. Unfortunately, if you, if you hair dryer it at all, then it does. It can do that. It's oh, done mine right. a little bit here. That's why really you yeah. need to let it dry naturally. Well, that was the area where mine went as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, obviously, because I'm trying to do this too quick, it's kind yeah. of. But anyway, never mind. It's it's just the idea, isn't it? More than anything. Yes, yeah. Um, mm. And then you can, have another, again. you can have another go on your own if you like. Yeah. Right. Ah! Oh, who was that? Please, yeah, <laughs> I'm just wiping something off the surface and I sprayed all the black, which oh. is still wet, into my sky. Oh, dear. Spray, but yeah. <laughs> that went well then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually just put a bit of colour through some of the buildings just so that they're not completely white. So, I'm just going to put some very rudimentary colour through them. So, this one's going to be pinkish. Oops, it's a bit too much water. Just mop a bit of that up. This one's going to have a bit of colour on it as well. So let's go with a ready pinky colour. Not too dark, obviously. You're not wetting any of this, Stuart. Yeah, I've just wet the building shape. Oh. So just the shape of the building. And just dropping the colour okay. into that. That's all I've done. Okay, I've just done it on dry. So a little bit of um, cerulean blue into the top building. And that one was wet as well. A bit of colour in there. <clears throat> just mop the edge up a bit. Soften the edge off. It's not too sharp. Okay, then coming down. Oh, actually, we've got these right hand ones over here. So let's just go again with a bit of that pinky, sort of pinky yellowy colour. Drop some of that in. And I'll need to just soften those shapes off. And then coming down into our main building areas, let's just drop a, I'm gonna make these a bit more, um, not, well, it's kind of silhouetted, but a very, very much more simplified. I don't wanna worry about <clears throat> the detail at all. So I'm gonna paint the shape. Let's just re-wet that edge a bit more. I'm actually wetting the edge of the original wash around the building as well as the actual building itself. And then I'm going to take some of my colour. So again, a bit of that pinky colour. So we'll drop some of that in. We'll maybe have some, some blue. As I said, I'm not really worried about them being individual buildings as such. I just want them to be a colourful shape. Uh, maybe we'll have some greyer ones. There's some light grey. Drop a bit of that in there as well. Down to the water's edge. I haven't actually wet these buildings yet. Let's do that quickly. Need to re-wet all of this. <laughs> 
so this is why I didn't bother doing uh, or spend too much time doing the drawing because I knew I was going to keep it fairly simple uh, in the building shapes. Let's go a bit, maybe a bit blue here and there, a bit bluer, more red. Bit of orange. <clears throat> orange colors. Just wash this through. Whole shape, I'm just going to re wet that. Color. Let's give this one a nice orangey roof. <coughs> Bit of red packs in my room. <coughs> Excuse me. Stronger. Some browns, perhaps in the foreground. Blue. Just get the colours to mix. Have some more um, bit of a grey. Grey colours. <coughs> Few more greys here and there. a few slightly darker let that go off a touch so it's slightly drier and then I'm going to pick out some some edges and a bit of detail not detail but um, define the shape a tiny bit more before I do that I'm going to take my big mop brush and I'm just going to run it along this edge just to get that paint to creep down like we did with the water before just in spots just to start off the the effect of the um, the water starting to run down I might take that right to the bottom actually and before I go too far I'm going to put some some gum arabic on again and get the lid open so whilst it's whilst this is wet 
I'm just going to slosh on some gum arabic onto the wet surface. Fairly haphazard. Okay, and we'll just let that move a little bit. Give it a tiny spray. Just to even it out a tiny bit. Um, Stu, did you put the gum arabic all over the water? Just down here, yeah, just sloshed it on. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just having a look to see how wet my buildings are still. So I'm going to get a, um, a darker colour now. So I'll use some Ains Grey and the Burnt Sienna again. Pretty dark. So it's almost, almost black, but not quite. And then we'll see how wet this is. It might be too wet still. Might be all right, just for a few marks. <clears throat> a few soft marks. And then we'll come back and add some stronger marks afterwards. So just some sort of horizontalish marks along this waterfront. Let some of that bleed down into the into the water. Along the water's edge. Okay, now while that's still thinking about what it's doing, let's get some nice blue. Uh, and I'm gonna use sort of a phthalo blue for this. I want it to be very, very blue. And then I might run some yellow through it. I feel so inclined, but I want it to be very blue to start off with. So I'm using a quite a neat phthalo type blue here. And I'm going to use the pipette, or you can use a big brush, whatever you prefer, just to get this paint to start to run down. Let's tip it a bit more along this edge. Bit more of that. Spray. See how that goes, and then I might use that same same blue again. Pretty neat. And just draw into the buildings a little bit more if it's dry enough. That is, it might be too wet still. I might have to dry that off. Let's do that in a minute then. Let's just bring a bit more dark blue along this edge. Just to get some more reaction going on there. A 
Okay. Clean that brush off. Do that. And let's do that. Okay, very quickly then, let's just put a bit of line detail on here. Oops. Straighten that up. I don't know why that's moved. Okay, so using the rigger, I'm going to just dip into my brownie, um, the same ultra, sorry, the same two colours, the burnt sienna and the um, Payne's grey. So it's pretty dark. Uh, leaving it fairly dry. I don't want the brush to be too wet. And I'm just going to start to draw into these buildings now, just to get some um, some shape. Perhaps put a few odd window here and there. Um, I'm not going to over detail them. Just want a little bit of structure to the to these shapes. So some little windows going there. Perhaps there's another building shape there. We'll have a few smallish windows coming down on the front. Just a few dots here and there. <clears throat> Not too many. Have a little bit of structure in this foreground area. Uh, a few more uprights, a few verticals, just to suggest some of the paraphernalia that's on the on the um, pier side. Got another little roof line there. Couple more windows, big roof here. Keep that one fairly simple. Don't want to worry about the perspective on that one too much. Another roof. Bit of shadow under the roof, some windows. We'll have a couple of windows in this building here as well. A few little marks. Actually, sort of a, another simple looking building on this side. A few buildings back there. Just break this up into a couple of lines. So if you want to keep this really simple, then don't worry about the perspective on any of these buildings. Just draw them as boxes with triangles on top. Make it very, very simple. And then just give a couple of little windows here and there. <clears throat> a few more horizontals. Maybe a few bluer ones. Bit of detail. A couple more windows. And I'm just going to dip into a little bit of red, just a leaf red, just for some odd accents here and there. I could even Add a little bit of red into one of these buildings. Perhaps one down here, make it a bit redder. Clean that off. Uh, I'm going to dip into very quickly just a bit of white. 
Find it. Just a tiny little bit of white. So as usual, just dipping the brush straight in. We'll have a few white windows. Just as a bit of variation. <clears throat> Perhaps a couple up at the top here. A little bit of white in the pier edge. Perhaps the odd light element on the pier side, cars and whatnot, clean that off. And then just to finish off, <clears throat> tiny bit more orange, again, very, very strong. Just a little bit more oranginess to some of these roof lines. to get them to stand out a bit more. Perhaps we'll make this one a bit more orange. A little bit up here. Just to break that up. Perhaps a few bits on there. Tiny touch there. And I think that will do.